I want to thank everyone for this opportunity. I, I really count it as a privilege to be in your midst this evening. It's not just a privilege for me, it's a real privilege knowing that this is the second time, I think this is the second time I'm coming this semester, right? Yes. So knowing that this is the second time I'm coming, it's not because, I believe it's not because you don't have people to come, but it's just because um, God wants it to be so. Thank you so much. I do not take the uh, privilege for granted. So this night, the Lord will be teaching us on what is next. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What is next? Or you can say, what's next? Amen. I hope you cannot hear me. Please, tonight is a very... Uh, sensitive night I want you to pay rapt attention to everything the Lord will be saying to us do all you can do to ensure that okay, you can use this don't worry, Amen I want you to pay attention to what the Lord will be teaching us tonight I believe that on the strength of the word of the Lord tonight we will be instructed in the name of Jesus. Amen. So Lord, once again we thank you and we trust you for your word. Understanding to the simple. Lord, we pray that tonight your word will come to us with light. Amen. And you will help us to be simple enough to understand Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. So this evening, close to the time I was I was preparing to come, I was just thinking that you know, looking at the peculiarities of tonight's program, you know, final year brethren, our sisters and brothers who will be leaving school, they are done, they are preaching their exams, and now they are going. You know, that's another reality they are about to face. So for them today is going to be a very remarkable day because. God has to instruct us. Specifically, God has to send his word to them so that on the strength of what the Lord will be saying tonight, they will have some things to hold on to which I believe will guide them through life. Now, while I was thinking, the Lord began to... Because I was just thinking, I knew I needed to uh, say some things about life because this topic is very sensitive. I can't just go to the scripture. I have to lay some foundations, talk about life, before supporting it with the scriptures. So I now began to think, Lord, how do we go about this? And then the Lord began to speak to me. He came with a question, and because I could not answer his question, so he answered by himself. So I'm going to start the same way God started with me today. Beloved of God, um... We used to believe, our belief is that when we are done with school, we are going to face life. Am I right? Yes. A new reality entirely. Are you with me? Yes. But the question is this. Does it, is it really a new reality? And if yes, the change, where is the change? Praise the Lord. Because when you talk of a new level, you are actually trying to describe a kind of change. Are you getting what I'm saying? You are trying to say that, when you say new level, you are actually saying that this level is different from the one I was before. So the change is what you are referring to. The change there is what makes you call it new. Are you with me? Now look at this. The question is, if it's a new level, then where is the newness? If you know where the newness is, it will guide you in taking advantage of that level. You will know how to walk through it and please God and be fulfilled. So you see, the newness of the level is first about the knowledge before the experience. Are you getting what I'm saying? And I'm going to be very practical with you. I'm going to use the example the Lord used while he was teaching me today. And the Lord began to speak to me. The Lord said, do you know that... Um, some of these people that are leaving school, everything looks cyclical. It looks like a circle. Because they were with their parents, right? Most of you were with your parents, right? Before you gained admission. When you gained admission, you came to school. 
After the exam, where are you going back to? He looked at now go back to that place. Am I, am I communicating? So you are going back to that place, but somewhere in your mind you believe it's a new level. Somewhere in your mind you believe this is a new reality entirely. So the question is, what makes it new? It will mean that the newness is now a function of knowledge. The reason you are convinced that this must be a new level is because you have now acquired a particular knowledge. Are you there? Because of the admission you gained. Now this knowledge is now making everything new to you. Though you are going back to the same place you came from, but you are convinced that it's still a new level. Are you there? It will now mean that if the newness is in our knowledge, then if we must be great, we need to invest in what? In knowledge. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now look at this. You see, if you know a lot, it's not, a, it's not yet a testimony. What you do with what you know is what defines who you become. Are you getting what I'm saying? It's not about the things that you know. It's not about the volume of the things that you know. But what you are able to do with, that, with what you know is what defines who you become. Are you with me? So if you know so much and you do nothing with it, I can assure you the ones that know little and does something with it we end up leading you in life. Are you there? And it's not because you don't know more than the person. It's because you have refused to do something with the knowledge that you have. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now look at this. As our beloved you know, brothers and sisters are moving into the world. There are things they need to understand. Number one, if you must invest in anything, invest in knowledge. What do I call it? That is the first thing because that's where the change is. If nothing happens to your knowledge, nothing will happen to your world. A shift in knowledge is what translates into a shift in reality. Are you with me? Yeah. Don't worry, we are still laying foundations. Soon I'll begin to build on these foundations and you will understand what I'm saying better. If nothing happens to your knowledge, nothing has actually happened to you. As a matter of fact, the summary of the only years you have spent here in this school, huh? is seen in the level of knowledge you have been able to acquire. Are you getting what I'm saying? So the you that came is totally different from the you that is going because of what? Knowledge. Are you with me? So if you must be different, if you must stand out among others, you must pay attention to what? Knowledge. And knowledge is what is easily despised because it doesn't look like you are making sense. You see, when you begin to invest in knowledge, in the initial level, it will not look like you are doing something reasonable. Are you with me? But it will pay off. Are you there? Now look at this. I may, I've, I've mentioned the first thing, which is what? Investing in what? In knowledge. Are you with me? And I told you, don't forget this, I told you that the things you know does not define you. What defines you is what you what do with what you know. Are you getting what I'm saying? Number two. These things I'm listing, I'll still go back to it as the Lord helps me, but I still want to move on. Number two. You must also work with, you must work with a responsibility mentality. What do I call it? Mm, you must work with a responsibility mentality. If you don't have the responsibility mentality, are you with me? Look at this. Shoulders are for responsibilities. Are you with me? 
but not every shoulder can take responsibility. Are you there? You know what makes a man irresponsible? The moment your shoulders can no longer take responsibility, you become what? Irresponsible. Look at this. Those who don't take responsibilities become dependent. Are you there? And when they continue in that state of dependency, they become defeated in life. So lack of responsibility mentality is what makes people become what? Defeated. Are you with me? As you begin to journey in life now, the first thing is invest in knowledge. When I say knowledge, I'm not saying just anything. I mean the right what? Knowledge. Are you there? And when you acquire it, make sure you do something with the what? The knowledge you have. Because until you do something with the knowledge you have, nothing changes. Nothing what? Changes. Nothing changes. Praise the Lord. So the question we ask ourselves is, what next? After school, now I'm a graduate, what do I do next? Now let's begin to bring it into a kingdom perspective. Now because you are a Christian, you know that of necessity, you will need to consult God to know what He will want you to do. Are you with me? Because every new level will need a new instruction. Are you there? Every new level will what? We need a new instruction. Because you cannot put the new wine in what? In an old wine skin. If you try to do it, you will waste it. Are you getting what I'm saying? So if we are moving into a new level, we need to what? Get a what? New instruction. So to my beloved people, the first question is, Lord, what will you have me what? Do. And it takes responsibility mentality to ask that question. Lord, what will you have me do? What are the things that I must take note for this new level? Because I tell you the truth. Can I tell you something? Whether you like it or not, because you are now a graduate, so to say, amen. Because you are now a graduate, the way they look at you before we change now. Are you getting what I'm saying? Do you know why? It's in the Bible. So who much is given? What is expected? It's not more than what we gave you. It's the same thing we gave you that we are expecting from you. We gave you much, so we are expecting what? Much from you. It is now an error to give less when you have been given much. It's an error. Are you there? It is what? It's an error. It's an error to give less when you have already been given much. It's an error. The expectations of your people will be high on you. Are you there? But if you don't have a responsibility mentality, you will continue to give them less. Are you with me? Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Wow. Why is this time flying like this? Amen. Hallelujah. Ten minutes more? Amen. Amen. All right. Praise God. Amen. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So every new level will require what? A new instruction. So if, if you must labor in anything, labor for what? The instruction. Labor to know what God will have you do for this new level. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, hmm. Another thing to notice this, you know, the reason you will need new instructions is because 
there are new obstacles to face. Are you there? There are what? There are new obstacles to face. What will keep you focused in life is the instruction that you have received from the Lord. So the instructions you have received from the Lord will now be your guide in this distracted world. Because not many that graduated as Christians continued. It is easy to start, but to continue, that's where the thing is. Some graduated as genuine Christians, but they continued as faith. Are you getting what I'm saying? Why? They lack what? Instructions. So if you are seated and all you... You see, let me quickly counsel you. Let me advise you. Being a final year, you know, person, graduating, should not... You see, you should be more sober mm. than rejoicing. Are you there? Yes, sir. Mm. That's the truth. Why you see people, you know, giving a new post and then you are the first person and the person is smiling. Oh my God, I'm so excited. You have seen someone that lacks wisdom. And with that kind of reaction, of course, you can discern that this one will not do well. Because the moment you see leadership as something that is just about excitement, you have lost it. It must come to you as a body. That's what makes a good leader. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, so if I'm done and I'm leaving school, what, what, what reactions should it create in me? Soberness. Because it takes soberness to discern. It takes what? Soberness. It takes soberness to discern rightly. Your discernment cannot be correct if you don't maintain a sober state. Are you with me? Now listen to me. Life has a way of putting people in classes. Be wise. Don't let life classify you. Put yourself in the class you desire. When life finds you in your class, life flows with you. But when it finds you, when it finds you unclassified, life now what? Classifies you. May you understand what you receive grace together. Are you catching this now? Don't let life meet you without a class. Because the class life we give you may be different from the picture of you that you have seen. That's where defeat comes. But from now, begin to put yourself in that class by investing in knowledge. By taking up a responsibility mentality and working with it. One of the things you do to show that you have a responsibility mentality is that you take what? You, you take responsibility for whatever happens to you. When you see people who are always dependent, you have seen somebody that will soon be defeated in life. Yes. If you have a responsibility mentality, the first thing that mentality will destroy in you is dependency. Are you with me? You must think of, you must just believe that your life is your responsibility. Nobody is at fault for anything happening wrong with you. Take the responsibility. So there are some people that will enjoy to suffer and some who will suffer to enjoy. It depends. Are you there? Life is not fair. Life is not unfair. What you put into life is what you get from it. Are you getting what I'm saying? There's something like life is life is unfair to me. Like, oh God. Life is like a soil, a very rich soil like that. What you sow is what you want. Greatness is not accidental. You must have sown the seed to reap the reality. Are you getting what I'm saying? You must have what? Sown the seed to reap the reality. That's the truth. What you put into life is what you get from life. Invest in knowledge. Is that where the thing is? That 
<laughs> where the thing is. If nothing affects the knowledge, if your knowledge is still the same, you have not changed. There's no you can't say you have you can't say any 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 improvement has, has, has come to you. Are you getting what I'm saying? Please, I beg you in the name of Jesus. I don't know how this time is running fast. Please, when my time is over, just let me know. Hallelujah. Yes, but please, take note. Are you, are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Responsibility what? Mentality. Take responsibility for whatever happens to you. And I told you that life is not fair. Life is not fair. What you put into life is what? Life is. Don't let life Put you in a class. What should you do? Put yourself in a class. When you put yourself in a class, life flows with that class. Don't let life meet you unclassified. That's why every poor man you see today, they desire to be worthy. But against their desire, they have become something they don't wish to be. Why? Life met them without a class. So life put them in a class. If life, meet, if life meets you without a class, your life becomes 50-50. So tomorrow is no longer sure. But there are some people that tomorrow is sure. Because they have what? Created a class for themselves. So my beloved people, I want to challenge you. What has God said to you? Because it is by the instructions of God that we navigate. It's by what? The instructions of God that we navigate. You don't move anyhow. You move as legs. You don't move anyhow, you move as what? Amen. As led by the Spirit. As many are those, thank you, that are led by the Spirit, they are what? They are the sons of God. Please don't go to life with a result mentality. You will fail before you start. Are you getting what I'm saying? Because there are many things God will ask you to do that will not bear the results immediately. But because you are so focused on results, you give up. Are you there? And when you give up, you become defeated. Please, please, and please. There are mistakes that can be corrected. There are mistakes that can never be corrected. At this level, for those who are graduating, now be careful of your choices. Make sure God is leading you. Because every mistake you make at this stage in your life will have a way of, it will have a way of affecting your movement. It can be in the, in the choice of who to go into relationship with. Are you getting what I'm saying? It can be in the choice of the kind of job you want to do. Make sure you are what? You are led by what? By the Spirit of God. Are you getting what I'm saying? Life is a soil. The things that we do on it are the things that we get from what? From it. If you want to be great, it's simple. Begin to sow the seeds of what? Of greatness. Begin to sow the seeds of greatness. Because the things that you sow are the things that what? Hallelujah. My time is up. I hope you have learned something. Can we bow our heads and pray and ask that the Lord will help us? Let's tell him to help us. Let's tell him to help us. Lord, I refuse to move by the flesh. I choose to move by the spirit. I refuse to move by the flesh. I choose to move by the Spirit. I refuse to move by the flesh. This is why you are making that prayer. Don't forget to add this to it. Lord, guide my steps. I need an instruction for the next stage of my life. I, I don't want to move without a bearing. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Help me. Help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. 
Help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus.